So here it is, the paperback edition of Aurore by Gabriel McCowry with those beautiful images by José Gabriel Alegría Sabogal. And it's everything I hoped it would be. Um, you may have seen my original review of the standard hardcover edition right there. It's one of the very first esoteric books that I reviewed on my channel. And it's one of the very first esoteric books that I picked up altogether. This is why it's why it's uh, so close to my heart and, and, and so, yeah, so important to me. And so when Gabriel reached out to me to actually write the preface to this edition, you can imagine how, how delighted I actually was. And uh, yeah, let me just give you a, a little idea of how beautiful the outside of the book is to start off with. I won't go very deep into the um, uh, into the inside of the book uh, because I've I've already shown you that in the standard hardcover. But I will show you uh, how beautiful this is. So all of this is kind of shiny text in kind of red shiny text. Looks so so cool. And yeah, having my name right there, Denis Poisson. Uh, host of the Foolish Fish YouTube channel. That, that's, that feels really good, <laughs> really, really good. And you can see that Shani Oates' preface has now become an afterword. And um, yeah, I, it was it was a, a, such a wonderful text, uh, Shani Oates' preface there. Um, uh, but but very, very meaty, of course, very, you know, in Shani Oates' style, which is, uh, uh, you know, every single line has got a lifetime's worth of uh, of, of knowledge packed in there. So uh, yeah, uh, it, 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 it can be a little bit daunting. Uh, and having it at the back over here, once the experience has been had, to just to help to unpack that experience uh, seems like a, like a, well, like a, like a, like, the, like a good move. Um, uh, and, uh, and well, my, my preface of course, is rather more in my style, which is a little bit more breezy and a little bit more, um, uh, uh, just a little bit more approachable, I suppose. Um, uh, but <laughs> maybe may less dense with meaning. Uh, but I, I hope those of you who pick up this, uh, this, uh, this edition will enjoy my, well, my explanation of why this book is so important to me, why, why I think it's, uh, in fact, uh, an, an essential um, an essential book uh, and a very important book. There we are. Um, in terms of the construction of the book itself, I'm going to say that it's superb, absolutely superb. Now, this is um, the central page, right? It's the central page. And in the previous edition, it was just the same. You couldn't really see what was uh, going on in the uh, in the in in. in well, in the spine there, because because uh, just so much data is lost, and now finally we can see on the spine over here what is actually inside. Isn't that wasn't that a good idea? Wasn't that a fantastic idea? And of course, it makes it look look absolutely glorious on the shelf. Look at that. Look how you know if that's not an an eye catching design, I don't know what is. Uh, yeah, absolutely wonderful. Um, uh, and then. Yeah, so because the paper is so much whiter uh, than the standard edition, which is uh, a much yellower paper, right? Uh, it's a it, it's a it's a higher grade paper probably in the in the standard edition. Uh, but but yeah, because the paper here is much whiter, um, a lot more of the detail comes out, especially in the photographs uh, towards the back. Let me show you this fantastic uh, picture if I can find it um, and there's a there's a little appendix talking about uh, Jose Gabriel Alegria Sabugal's work like is actually in his own words I believe and um, uh, yeah and this skull which you know it looked you know uh, it, it had its own its own style but it was definitely nowhere near as clear and as visible as it is right here uh, on the standard edition, you know. So suddenly all of this detail comes out and uh, yeah, it, it looked a little bit more mysterious uh, in the in the edition, in the original edition. And so, you know, I, I'd say that there's uh, uh, there's space for for both. Certainly his 
here's what the the original edition looks like and you know some might say a little bit more muddy in fact um, um, although I rather like that uh, that, that kind of um, um, uh, obscure style of uh, uh, you know black and white photographs on uh, uh, in, in print like that but but yes this this really brings everything out in in high definition and it's really really lovely the 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 book is heavy it's surprisingly heavy you know um uh, uh, paperbacks are you know they they they're usually a step down in quality but uh but no this is this is definitely uh, keeping <laughs> to uh, to anathema publishing's very high standards of uh, uh, of 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 uh, material quality you know uh, so, so I think that if you have not picked up uh, Aurora and you were hoping to pick up Aurora and you've been uh, just bothered by the fact that the standard and the deluxe editions have been out of print for a long time now, uh, this is very much a, a, a good way to to experience Aurora. I think um, the 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 cover is just this really nice um, uh, matte waxy. Um, uh, feel to it and yeah and of course that uh, that UV spotting on the on the red lettering there is just perfect uh, it's kind of metallic there are oh, just lovely 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 uh, so yeah Gabriel you've done a fantastic job there <laughs> and I'm I'm extremely honored uh, to have been allowed to be a part of it um, yeah, thank you, thank you so so much. That is, uh, that, that that really is something very very special. Um, there we go. Yeah, do check out my review of the standard edition if you're curious to find out a little bit more about what goes on inside there. Uh, and uh, yeah, I I would uh, very much uh, okay. Uh, one thing that I will say is that this is not a how-to grimoire. You know, it's not. For those of you who won't be checking out my my initial review, it's not a uh, it's not a scholarly work on uh, the history of anything in particular. These are these are impressions. Okay, they are uh, poetic impressions. Um, they are um, uh, encoded in impressions uh, that. Uh, the reader isn't really intended to understand uh, after the first reading. So the first reading is actually quite perplexing uh, and then you get to the back and you get some explication, you get a little bit more, more in, uh, understanding of what's going on and then you are compelled to go back to the beginning and, and, and start again and then with, with each reading you get more and more of what's going on inside. Okay, so it's, it's, uh, it's it's definitely not um, uh, what many people will be used to in terms of uh, occult books uh, nowadays. This is uh, this is a book that speaks to the unconscious mind. I, I think that's probably the best way that I can summarize my introduction there. Uh, so there we are. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't done so already. Uh, links down to the book are down in the description as always. And uh, yeah, I'm going to wish you a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. And see you very soon with another video. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.